Hey, what's up you guys? Time is back with another Linton's video. The wifey is here as well. Hello. She is going to be a judge of some sort today. Fragrance judge, right? I guess so. Uh, she didn't know anything about this video. I was just thinking of this one. Came to mind. And I said, you know what? We're going to make a video. She's going to be in it. But before we get to that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it is that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, her favorite. The Macintosh. <laughs> the big screen TV. If you guys are watching at home, you're watching at work, you're watching on the road. Hopefully you pull over and then watch. But wherever you're watching... Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those devices. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, comment. It's all very much appreciated on this channel. So, with that being said, let's finally get into this. Now, I have two fragrances in front of me from Mason Alhambra. Okay, that is a like kind of a branch of Latafa fragrances. Okay, Latafa is like the tree, and then this is like the branch. This is like its own little thing. Okay, so the branch. The Taffa is the main thing, but then it has these other little companies, and this is one of them. And I have two fragrances in front of me. I think I said that before already, but Just these case. are clones, okay? So don't get all the, the belligerent on the uh, typing and stuff. Don't kill me. I can't afford the real deals. But these are two of the most popular fragrances on the market, okay? Now, this is pretty much similar to... This is like a Super Bowl with like the Detroit Lions and the Jacksonville Jaguars playing in it. That's not what you really want, Poor but it'll do. This is pretty much what these are, okay? I think I these... know who they are clones of. So we'll see if she can even guess it, okay? So again, this is like, again, the, the, the NBA Finals. This would be like the Cavaliers and the uh, the Denver Nuggets. No one really wants it, but if it's on... It just might work. And honestly, these two really will surprise you as far as the smell, as far as the projection, as far as the quality. So you just got to tell people they're knockoffs or you flip the bottle around on your collection and then they don't see the real name. So either way, you can fake it off. Like, honestly, looking at them, I thought they were the real things until he said they were clones. And I looked again and actually read them. And then, then like, when okay. you read the actual names of them, you're like, why would a company name their fragrance that? Here we go. Mason Alhambra. We got Usher. Blue de Chance. Blue de Chance. So that's, oh, let me guess. Blue de Chanel. Blue de Chanel, yes. Now, the one thing I can't tell you if this is the EDP or the EDT variant, okay? So you're going to have to just bear with us, okay? Next up is their version of... You know what this is the version of? YSL. YSL Y, okay. Looks just like the bottle. Got that nice yeah. little bar right here. Instead of that big Y, you got the whole yeah right there. So oh, sure. yeah, these are clones. Yeah, these is clones, okay. Blue to chance and yeah. Now again, both of these are pretty much your mass appealing, people pleasing, non-offensive, great for the night, great for the day, great for any time. Except for like maybe the gym. You're not going to want to just wear this to the gym. So take these with a grain of salt. Anywhere else, these will be much appropriate. Okay, so work, school, uh, airplane, whatever, date, day, date, day, date, day, night, date, night, bowling. So we will try this. Yeah, first. By the way, the bottle actually looks very nice. Okay, looks Dang. just like that. Why? Now, this one is more of a rectangular all the way around. I think the real Y is like more of a square all the way around. So, other than that, everything looks pretty much the same. But here we go. Nice heavy cap as well. Yeah, we'll go on the left hand. The wifey will smell it. Let you know what she thinks of that just right off the top. I wonder if it'll wear long. Like It does. It does. Smells good. This does last quite a while. Now, it will start to fade into a more of a close skin scent after about the three to four hour mark where it starts really sitting closer. But you still will get whiffs of this throughout the day. Okay, so what do you think of that one so far? Nice, crisp, fresh. I like it. 
I like that one. Kind of, it's got a, like, a, I think it's like an apple in here maybe. But it's got this fresh, almost citrusy, just bright, crisp smell to it. Okay? I like that one. And it's, again, mass appealing. Mm -hmm. Going to be great. Like, if I wore this at your job and someone just smelled like that, you wouldn't be offended, right? No. Nope. You jumped on, if someone smelled like this on an airplane, you'd be pretty good? Yeah. Wouldn't be offended, yeah. see? Especially so if you, they start sleeping on me. So you can wear this in uh, small environments, okay? Mm -hmm. Enclosed spaces, mm -hmm. so yep. it's not going to offend anybody. But now is blue the chance, okay? Give gonna spray chance. that on the right. See which one has the chance. So maybe he'll get a second chance if he wore that on the first date, or maybe not because it's so light. I don't know if you smell it, but maybe for a first hug you might smell it. It smells good. It's just so light. It is very light, right? Or is it? This one is more citrusy. I'm definitely getting citrus, and I think it's pretty loud. It's just more of a citrusy, almost fresh smell. Where this has a little bit of, this has like a creaminess with that little bit of freshness and almost kind of, it's almost like a creaminess in there as well. Maybe like some kind of wood or something like that, but. Yeah, to me, that's very light. Yeah, that one's different. This one's very light. Let's see, it's still high. I mean, I'm smelling it. Well, I'm smelling it really good. I, don't, I can maybe smell her, it. I mean, it's just light. I don't. Mm, maybe it's more because if it's it's more almost citrusy more than anything. It smells like this bright kind of lime lemon, if you will. This has, again, a freshness and also like this kind of creaminess with it. Maybe some slight woods. Now, okay, we're going to look at it from two different perspectives here. If I was the man, okay, and this was like a first date, okay? If I was the man, this is the first date. And I was to say, man, which one do I think personally smells better? I actually got to go with this one. Now, even though she says it's lighter, I could always just spray a little bit heavier. But yeah, I actually it. like that bright citrusy pop more on this than the kind of fresh aromatic smell on this. I like that one better. But yeah. They're kind of starting to get a little similar for the fact that they both have like this little bit of creaminess to it. Now, that could be like a, a wood note, like a sandalwood, maybe some kind of other woody note. But one more time. See how it's kind of getting kind of creamy, woody almost. I do get the, the creamy aspect that he is talking about. I don't get the it's, wood. If you guys are new to like fragrance, sometimes when a... I don't even know what I'm talking about when I say creamy. It just smells like this kind of... Yogurt almost, almost like a... Uh, right. Like something like uh, creamy as in maybe like even... Uh, if you just took some petroleum jelly and then just added something to it. How you would get that kind of creamy... Thicky smell that you would get with like a thick. I think of like a yogurt. Adhesive or a yogurt. Like a a, a plain yogurt. That creamy scent. smell that you would get. Or like um, a lotion. Sorry, sorry guys. If I keep looking off, I have a dog with its head in my hand. <laughs> but or his hand. Me personally, I would go with this one if I was the man. I was, you know, about to pick her up and I wanted to. S you know, wear one of these, I would go with this one first. Both smell great, but yeah. in my opinion, I think this one smells just a little bit better, but what do you think? I'm definitely going to go with the, yeah, I, I like that. It smells like a, kind of a, like a, a sophisticated man. A little bit more. Starting to get a little bit of like a little it, touch of sweetness in there. It has like a sweet musk to it. Like it smells like a, a good, clean smelling man. The, so this one is kind of got like the sweet wow. woody musk going on. This one has more of a fresh citrusy 
yeah. creaminess to it. So yeah, I like the yeah though. The yeah. Mm -hmm. The blue blue day day chance. It, it's good. You can't go wrong with either. But uh, do you see them both for the same kind of purpose though? Like if this was a date night and this maybe this was like my first time meeting you or something or like that or, no. or picking you up. I don't see the blue day, day chance as like a date. I mean, it's really your personal preference, honestly. It, it, they both smell good. Okay, so there you got it. Mm -hmm. So literally, that is a tie. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys are watching, if you guys want to comment, you guys be the judge since this is a tie. You guys are going to have to Let us know. Uh, pick your overall winner. Now, again, these are the clones okay so if you have the real deal you have the real deal ysly you have the real deal blue to chanel which one do you personally enjoy more okay so um with that being said we both enjoy both i pick one the wife picked the other and different body chemistries go well with different fragrances so and you know what she should not have said that because you know what she doesn't like when i keep Thrown on more and more onto the video. So Sorry. we're going to see what they smell like on her hand then real quick. See wow. if it makes any difference. See, Because sometimes her skin does get a better reaction. Man, by the way, this sprayer on this one is very nice, nice. on this Y. It's like a huge blast. It smells Ooh. really good in the air. I like that Y though. Or that, yeah. So that was the difference too. The Y shoots out more juice. This one is more of a finer mist. So maybe that's the thing. Maybe we got to spray just a little bit more with this one. This one had a bigger... Blast of juice, but let's see. Why you so? It smells much different on your hand, actually. See, the yeah smells really good. It smells super duper fresh on our hand too. It's it's like this. That yeah, fresh, good. almost a light fruit, like a crisp really fruit. Good. This just has that super duper citrusy smell to it, right up at the I top. Me personally, still, I do like that citrus a little bit more. So I'm still, I'm still, even with her skin, I'm still gonna go with the blue to chance. But again, YSL is great too. In the they air, smell it smells great. great. Yes. I know both of these literally are compliment monsters, so you can't mm -hmm. go wrong with either one. So there you guys go. Let's see one more time. Man, it the does citrus, smell it's good. like citrusy and woody. Now that I'm and it's I, like a again, it's like a sandalwood. It smells like a sandalwood because it's kind of citrusy and creamy. It's like a creamy woody smell. So and this one, let me smell this one more time. Now that I'm smelling this more and it has like a more of a um that one's just super a bigger different. spray. I do like this a little bit more, the uh bloated day chance, but I'm still gonna go with the yeah. But it does smell a lot better. So yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Yeah is a nice fragrance, blue de chance, wrong. blue de chance. Now maybe you know if you're reading this, if you are a uh, you speak English, you know you're probably just gonna say blue de chance. But if you want to sound more sophisticated, you say blue de chance, blue de chance, blue de chance. chance. And this would be yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing yeah, yeah, not, not just sure. yeah, because. Just doesn't sound cool. Yeah. Your wife asks you what you're wearing, they say, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And again, if you are on the fence with both of these, okay, the real deal. You're at Dillard's, you're at Macy's, you're at Alta. There's both sitting in front of you, okay? Don't get the real deal. Just get both of these. You can get both of them for the price of one of these. So there you go. Yeah. Give them a chance. Peace.